Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. I'm Joe Dorick, and this is going to be my next video on the Always Next Year Podcast Network, as Alec Bohm is here, but we had two pieces of great news today. We got Alec Bohm called up, and we had the great Dick Allen's number retired. So let's get into Dick Allen first. He, of course, run the Rookie of the Year here. He had 125 runs. That's absolutely ridiculous. In that season, 91 RBIs and 29 homers is the Rookie of the Year. He also placed fourth in the MVP in his third season here in 1966, and he had 110 RBIs and was just a machine. I mean, yeah, the guy struck out, but who cares? I mean, he was a guy that hit 318, 302, 317, 307. He struggled in 68 with 263, but was not in. But also, yeah, he struggled but had 33 homers and 90 RBIs. I mean, if you can, if that's a struggling year, like I say with other sports, I'll take that as a struggling year. His final year, he bounced back here at 288 again, had a little bit less on the RBI. But overall, number 15 is retired, and that's going to be the first guy that is not in the Hall of Fame that's going to have his number retired from our Philadelphia Phillies. And I think it is very well deserved. He's obviously from Wampum, I think is how you say that, Pennsylvania, as a first baseman, third baseman, a left fielder. For his career, he has a 48.8 war. He has a 292 batting average and 351 home runs, 133 stolen bases, and 11,000, or no, 1,119 RBIs. Excuse me, my computer had a glare. That would be ridiculous if he had 11,000. And then his OBP was 378, 534 slugging, and 912 OPS, and 156 OPS plus. So he was a very, 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 very respectable player, and well beyond that. He should by far being like he is the Phillies Wall of Fame, and he should have his number retired as far as I'm concerned. He's one of the best players of the Phillies organization, and it also paves the way now for Utley, Howard Rollins, and some of those guys, even Cole Hamels, like some people mentioned on Twitter, to have their number retired, and we'll see what happens there as it go- as time goes on. But let's get into now the current, the present, and what's going on now. Alec Bohm. Our star third baseman prospect is called up. Now we have our top two guys up in Spencer Howard and Boehm. This is great to see because we need some excitement. Our bullpen has had a lot of woes, so we need a lot of excitement. Alec Boehm provides that, and Spencer Howard provides that, and how Jake the Snake Arietta is pitching this year also provides that, who is, of course, going in today's ball game. So hopefully he has a very good game and we're able to get the win, but Alec Bohm is a beast. This dude controls the strike zone so well. He has a major league ready bat. Shane talked about it on our last podcast. Please check it out. And also, if you like what you listen to, please like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell. And also, you can check out our podcast on our YouTube as well, as well as everywhere else you find them. But Shane brought up how his power hasn't developed as quickly as we hope. And that's entirely true. But guess what? I think it'll come because he's a line drive guy. If you can continue to just get great barrel to bat action on the ball. You're going to get power. He, I mean, in the Arizona Fall League, the kid hit 361. In Reading, he hit 269 in 63 games, 329 in high A and 367 in low A. And then 344 in Williamsport when he was in rookie ball. I mean, he he's a guy that's going to feast off of lefties, first of all. So you know you can put him in against lefties pretty much all day, every day, as soon as he's called up. But I personally believe he should be our starting third baseman. And I truthfully believe he should play third base right away because Gene Segura has been nothing at third base, really. He hasn't been impressive. He hasn't been great fielding. His hitting has just came around. So if you want to keep him in the lineup, that's fine. But it doesn't have to be at third base because you want to give Scotty some rest at this point, too. You can put Gene at second and put Boehm at third. I just think you want to, for his best of his development, put the kid at third base. Let him figure it out. He has one of the best work ethics. He has a behemoth work ethic. I mean, he's going to work on his footwork. He's going to work on his positioning and how he's supposed to aim with your glove and everything. So he knows he's got the pros. I see at least five good years in this kid at third base. I said that on my other video on the Sports Fanatic News YouTube channel that the link to that will be in the bio. I'm trying to help spread the love here and get our channel more more following because we do very great stuff here at Chasing the Pennant and at Always Next Year Podcast that we now brought back the Disciples of Ed Podcast too. So please check that out as well. But Alec Bohm has just been absolutely amazing for this club since we drafted him. It's it's 
going to be fun watching him play, no matter if it's at first, third, even if he's, God forbid, in the outfield, and then or DH. So it's going to still be fun to watch this kid hit. I mean, we know he can rake. I don't know how his power numbers, like Shane said, are going to be right away. But we just know he's going to rake when it comes to average. He's good at putting bat on ball contact. I mean, th th this guy, for me, I think he is going to be a third baseman. I know people have him moving to first and all that. Like I already said, I believe he's going to be a third baseman. He did play some first in his AFL stint, so maybe he'll get time. He's, well, he's going to get time there. Maybe that's where he'll start. But I think if he starts at first and starts at DH, if Gene keeps struggling at third, it's not going to be long before we see Alec Bohm at third base. But anyway, congratulations to number 15, the great Dick Allen, getting his number retired. And congratulations to Alec Bohm on his call. This has been a quick video reacting to those two things. Have a great, pleasant, and safe day, everybody. Let's go, Phillies. I'm Joe Boric for the Always Next Year Podcast Network. Peace out, everyone.